Welcome back everyone, Hi, this is Two Point Show coming back with basically just the Celestial Island update. As everyone's doing it, I woke up super late and it looked like the update happened as soon as I went to sleep. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. This will probably come out later than everyone's anyways. Um, so, you know, anyways, we'll get right into it. The first cool thing that I love is this furnace. Make sure you build it because... If you're free to play or, you know, a spender, this is probably one of the most powerful things in the game right now. And again, it's not the furnace, it's not these first four levels, which, although they can be nice, you can turn your extra stones into, um, I guess, resources. But the last one, at level five, is an extra bag space, and you get it, I think it's every 360 minutes or so something like that. It's it's a few hours, um, but still, you can get 200 free bag space from doing that. And again, you just click this little upgrade button and then upgrade it. It is pretty expensive, but like, definitely, definitely worth it. I'm not going to do it on this account, as I only have 6,000, and I would rather upgrade the gems first. Um, just because, you know, with gems, you can buy more things and uh bag space it's kind of decent for now i think i'm at like 115 and i don't have too many projects just yet but anyways they upgraded that this however is stuck at level 20 so if you already have it maxed out you know the gems gold all that stuff is the only thing that really you need to focus on and that went from 40 to 60. so again personally i would say upgrade gems as far as you can and that's that um, you know, next, it kind of depends on whatever you need, but still, I just think the gems are most important. But again, it really depends on where you're at in the game, um, and if you're a huge spender, but, you know, that's different. Anyways, moving on, the next little thing on this is these little statues. Um, the evil statue of war, for example, will up attack. For Abyss, I don't know why it says gloom here, um... But Abyss, Shadow, and the Dark Faction. That says Gloom as well. So, anyways, I just want to check this and uh, see if this says Light or if it says something else. It says Bright. Okay, so anyways, one side is for those three. The other side is for the other three. Um, you know, and then it just goes Attack, HP, and Speed. And these go anywhere. These don't just work on your Celestial Island. So it's kind of like some extra guild tech. Kind of. Um, and you're like, how do I buy this? Because I don't have any of those little cogwheel metal type things. We'll get to that. But first off, they changed this. And I'm not sure if you'll still get your little daffodils, you know, every hour or so. I don't really know how that's going to work. You can still buy them. But, you know, they took off the little one that you get every so often. Um, in the, the little island main face right here. So I don't really know how it's going to work, if we'll still get them, but I would assume so. The next cool thing that everyone's freaking out about is this. And um, there's so many different islands, which is neat. Um, and basically, you get this little boat, and here's the stats. Here's the durability, so on and so forth. And from what I grasped, a lot of people are thinking that the speed is important, which is the second one, the engine, whatever. Which I would also say, super important. But what might also be important is this one right next to it, because you can get extra bonuses. So you finish, you get extra bonuses to pump into this, you know, extra XP. So, again, it's something to think of. And then the last one is just stats, which they seem OP. I mean, at level 1 you get 12% HP. Who knows how that's going to work out, you know whenever you max it out, but this is just going to be on your your little adventure scout. On the left hand, you get a little, what, description, whatever, but the cool thing is you get a six star, and this takes 14 days, and again, that's max, we'll break it down as we go, um, but you get these, the cogwheel medals, whatever, to upgrade, and then you get XP, which I think the XP can be pumped into the speed, the you know, reward bonus, all this and that, that we just talked about. And then you can get all these other stuff, which they changed the orange artifact shards. But, you know, whatever, we'll talk about that later again. So, you just have to set up your teams. It doesn't really matter. From what I've 
also heard and seen. It's cool to wait, you know, just, just an extra little t day or so. Everyone is putting their best slot in first. Their best guys in slot one. My butt, my bad. Um, but, you know, it makes sense. You click and then they go to the top. So, again, I'm just thinking maybe putting it on the bottom. That's just me. But, as I set all this up, I'll kind of cut it out. And we'll, we'll be right back. Just so you guys don't have to worry about that. Alright, so anyways, we just loaded it up and we already got 2% done just for coming into the game. Um, so, we're already a few hours ahead and we haven't done anything. So that's, that's neat. First thing, exploring. Might as well. Um, it's the only really thing that you can do. And what do we got? Okay, so we just got some free shards. For clicking explore, a ton of different actions can happen. Um, you can, I guess, help a stranded fleet or whatever. I don't even know if this is like another actual person or not. But you spend 50 gems and you get 2.38% progress. I don't know how they figured out that number. Whatever. Um, if you don't find anything, you'll find gold, dust, these stones... Which, I mean, in a way, you found something. Whatever. Um, another shipwreck. You view that. You get something for free. Eh, again, it's not the worst. It's definitely something new. And it's cool that they added something. But I was really hoping for something a little bit more PvE-based. But, again, we're still super early. We don't really know much about this. This is awesome. So, again... Wow, I did not know red artifacts could be that cheap. Exclusive for a grand. That doesn't really seem worth it. Again, unless if you're super early and a spender, it doesn't really seem all that worth it. That is kind of tempting, but again, eh. There's tokens, more tokens. Um, what is... What can we buy for a thousand? Okay, so 200 apiece. Not... I guess not horrible. And then, I guess, okay, we'll, we'll purchase that. Might as well. Um, just so everyone knows, and just so you can see, this merchant comes up, and it's like random stuff most of the time. And I think the bottom row is better from what I've grasped. But anyways, I did not mean to click on that. So we bought that, and it's going to go into your cargo hold. But we'll check that out in a second. Okay, so use that up. Again, okay, we'll do one last one. And just see everything that we got. Shipwrecks. View it. Perfect, we got some extra free stuff. Um, real quick, I do want to just check here. This will show you your durability. And um, you want to keep that basically as high as you can. Um, I don't know if upgrading it will change anything. But, you know, whenever you get to 90, 60, so on and so forth. My bad, clicked on the wrong thing. This is everything that we've encountered today. But on your durability, you want to keep it up so that you can, you know, go as fast as you can. And you get the most resources. Which again, you'll kind of figure that out as you go. If you attack people and lose, your durability goes down. It only makes sense. Um, this, this will tell you everything. The little help thing. Everything that I just said. So feel free to scroll through that. And the last thing is, your cargo hold shows you everything that you have and everything that you'll get at the end of the trip at the 14 day mark. Which, it can get done sooner. So, that's just an estimation. But anyways, I'm liking this. How are you guys feeling about this update? Let me know what you guys think down below. And, uh, are you guys pleased with this? Do you think DH is trying? Because I think that they started to realize that a lot of their players are wanting to leave. And... Hopefully they, they keep stuff like this up. All we can do is really wait and give them our feedback. So, anyways guys, this is Two Point Show. I want to thank everyone for being here. And I'll catch you in the next one. Have a swell day guys. Peace.